Hello everybody, welcome back to Blast Away the Game Review. I'm your host, Dustin Murphy. Today we are going to be taking a look at a Super NES Classic Edition, thanks to Greg who managed to get one on. And so, all we're going to do is, we're not going to be able to boot it up or anything, we don't have a way to hook it up at the moment, and plus I'm pretty sure Greg wants to break it in himself. So, all we're going to do is unbox it, take a look at it, give a general idea on it. As you can see, according to the box, it does come preloaded with games. It comes with Star Fox 2 that has never before been released outside of its consoles. It's got Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, F-Zero, Super Mario Kart, and The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now, it also does feature two classic style SNES controllers, SNES console. And then, on the back of the box, of course, it will give you a list of more games that you can play. And what's actually really cool about this is you can actually play your old school retro cartridges. So it's kind of a neat little addition to have where if you don't want to play a cartridge and you don't want to go find some of the rarest games out there, you have them built in. So, as you can see, it comes packaged with no tape holding it closed on either side. So it's not something we have been actively doing ourselves so let's go ahead and get started on this big guy oh. having not seen an SNES in a box for a long time it's kind of nostalgic to see something like this where you have that old school paperwork look you have that retro collectibles feel to it inside the box comes pretty niftily packaged as you can see it comes with its small plug-in cable which looks like it's based on USB power so if you lose your USB or charger of sorts it looks like that's how it's going to be connecting up next up you have your controller what's different about this one is it does not have your classic adapter so you will have to buy separate controllers if you want new controllers now because I did say as told, Greg will be the one bringing this in. We will not be playing it, that kind of thing. So we're just going to be taking a look at what's in the box. So right here is the second SNES Classic controller. I'm not going to pull it completely out as I did the other one since you now have a general idea of what they look like. What's really kind of interesting about this is while the controllers are full-sized, the console itself is actually tiny. I mean, this is it. A original SNES was like four, maybe five times, but it looks like, for those of you who do want to use your old cartridges, that is actually an improbability to do. So, if you're going to get one of these, consider the fact that you're not going to be able to do that. It is v simply just a very, very, very small device. It's actually really cool. It almost looks like a Raspberry Pi. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. As you can see, it comes with its power cable, which is just a small USB 2.0 or 3.0 charger. And finally, it comes with a HDMI cable so that you can just simply hook it up. Now, what is kind of nifty with about this thing is they actually themed it off one of the original SNES's giving fans a nostalgic feel to it what's cool here as well is while the eject button itself does not work the reset and the power buttons actually do those are actually full functioning buttons on the console so that's definitely how you're going to be operating it and as you can see on the back HDMI USB so it does look like somewhere on the console itself, Greg will have to look it up. The controllers actually do plug in to the console somewhere. I just don't know where, and I'm probably not smart enough to figure out where, but I'm going to guess these are, I don't want to try to break them, but these are little, yeah, they're little covers right here. Just a little pull-off cover. So you can definitely plug them in in the front. If This seems like it's going to be fragile, but if you look right here, there's two indentions, you pull them up, 
and voila, controller adapters. And it is just a piece of rubbery plastic holding it in, so don't be too concerned. But you definitely don't want to just yank, because it does feel like if you try to just yank, it's going to break. But overall, this thing's actually mildly impressive for how tiny it is. I'm actually kind of impressed. Especially since I know the fact that there are going to be people that are probably going to jailbreak these. And <laughs> of all things, while I don't support the idea of jailbreaking, but you know it is going to happen because people are going to want more than just the few games that are on the back. And the fact that they also want to be able to play their older games. And I don't think this game console comes with packed with just a ton of games on it. It does seem like it has a moderately large library according to what's on the back of it but with that being said as you can see it was packaged very nice nightly nicely nintendo did a really good job at providing plenty of room to put things back up especially if you're looking at collecting and you just want to take a look at what's inside it's really easy to just repackage as you can sell i can put this there fold that down Put this back right where it was. That's not perfect, but hey, close enough. You get the idea. Um, but it's just nice. I like what Nintendo did here. As you, It's just real simple, real clean. Not a lot of mess to it. And so whenever you get down to the nitty gritty, you know, it's just something that's easy to pick up, go. If you're on the road and you just want something to play, you got a portable HDMI uh, screen. Just hook it up on that give it a roll, have some fun, and the fact that it's HDMI powered is the best part about this thing. So there's a lot of flexibility in how to use your uh, console itself. But I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Again, this is Dustin here at Blast Away the Game Review. Greg on camera, we are so thankful that you've tuned in to take a look at this thing. And we will have thoughts and impressions on it at a later date, so we will get that to you. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll talk with you soon.